Since ancient times, man has sought to understand the transmission of characteristics from one being to another. The first ideas about heredity were quite simple and only said that children were similar to parents, without understanding the mechanism behind this finding. Genetics is at the heart of biology that studies heredity, that is, the way features are passed on from generation to generation. This science began with the experiments and laws proposed by a monk named Gregor Mendel in a paper published in 1866. Mendel expected, with the development of his work with peas, to understand why the cross between hybrids generated such different descendants. According to some authors, through these works, Mendel intended to create ways to develop hybrid plants that retained essential characteristics for agriculture. To carry out his work, Mendel chose peas and analyzed seven characteristics, the size of the plant, seed texture, seed color, pod shape, color pod, flower color, and flower position. The choice of the plant is essential for the success of the research, since one pea develops through an easy cultivation, seeds, and various short reproductive cycles. One of the laws proposed by Mendel in his work was the segregation of factors known today as genes. According to the researcher, each person has a couple of factors for each characteristic that separates the time of formation of gametes. At the moment of fertilization, the gametes of father and mother come together, taking its features. Mendel contributed in a big way to studies of genetics and therefore is today considered the father of this science. The work of this research, however, was overlooked for many years. However, in 1900, researchers Korens, Teschmack, and de Vrij independently rediscovered Mendel's work to study hybrid plants. These three botanists contributed to the acceptance of Mendel's ideas and the early genetic study in humans. Another work worth mentioning is Morgan, who studied the Drosophila fly and understood that the transmission of certain characteristics was determined by sex. His work gave particular attention to the changes and their transfer to the descendants. In 1926, he published the book The Theory of the Gene, in which he explained that heredity is linked to units passed from parents to children. What is genetics? Genetics is the branch of biology that studies the transfer of physical and biological characteristics from generation to generation. Many scientists believe that the explanation for many genetic problems lies in the genes. Heredity is the genetic inheritance we received from our ancestors from physical characteristics to propensity for diseases. Hence, the explanation of children resembling the father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt, and even more distant relatives. Another way to observe heredity is by crossing a plain coat of a white mouse with a black rat's bristling fur. The puppies from this cross will indeed be born with black and bristly hair because the black rat genes are stronger. However, when these pups reach adulthood, they may have smooth white coat pups. It is due to the mixing of genes they have. There is currently a lot of research on the genetic code. Scientists believe that as a result of these studies, in the future it will be possible to eliminate many genetic diseases that affect many people worldwide. Classification of genetic diseases. 1. Monogenic. They are caused by changes or mutations that occur in the DNA sequence of a single gene, also known as Mendelian disorders. Examples of conditions Sickle cell anemia Duchenne myotomica Duchenne muscular dystrophy Huntington's disease Tay-Sachs disease Phenylketonuria Cystic fibrosis Hemophilia A Familial hypercholesterolemia, thalassemia, Marfan's syndrome, chromosome 2. Structural and numerical changes occur across a whole chromosome. Examples of conditions, Down's syndrome, trisomies 18, 13, X, Creduchat syndrome, cat meows, 
Kleinfelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, wolf hirschhorn syndrome, XYY syndrome. 2. Multifactorial. These are caused by combinations of environmental factors and mutations in multiple genes, also known as complex or polygenic disorders. The multifactorial inheritance is also associated with some hereditary characteristics, fingerprint patterns, height, eye color, skin color. Examples of conditions, Alzheimer, congenital malformations, congenital heart diseases, certain types of cancer, diabetes mellitus, arterial hypertension, obesity. What is the human genome? We can say that the genome is the human genetic code, i.e. the set of human genes. In genetic material, we can find all the information for the development and functioning of the human body. This genetic code is present in each one of the cells. The human genome is shown in 23 pairs of chromosomes, which contain the genes. All information is encoded by the DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. This acid, which has a double helix shape, consists of four bases which are joined in pairs, adenine with thymine and cytosine with guanima. The Human Genome Project, HGP, is one of the greatest achievements in human history. It is an effort of international research to sequence and map all the genes of human beings, which is, as a whole is known as the genome. Integrated into the HGP, similar efforts have been used to characterize the genomes of many other organisms, since most of the living organisms have many genes that are homologous or similar with similar functions. The identification of sequences and functions of the genes of these organisms is reflected in the potential to explain the homology of the genes in humans and can thus be used as an animal model in biomedical research. The hereditary material, genome, of all multicellular organisms is the double-stranded molecule of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, which contains all our genes. The HGP, formally launched in 1990 and designed to last 15 years, had as its primary objectives to determine the order or sequence of all the bases of our genomic DNA identify and map the genes of all 23 pairs of human chromosomes, store this information in databases, developing efficient tools to analyze this data, and to develop ways to use this information to study biology and medicine. The HGP began as an initiative of the public sector, and the leadership of James Watson, then the head of the National Institutes of Health, NIH, Numerous schools, universities, and labs are participating in the project, using resources from the NIH and the Department of North American Energy, DOE. Eighteen countries have initiated research programs on the human genome. The largest programs are in Germany, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, Korea, Denmark, the USA, France, Holland, Israel, Italy, Japan, Mexico, the United Kingdom, Russia, Sweden, and the European Union. With the entry of private initiative in the Genome Project, giving preference to a targeted approach only to genes that are pertinent to the cure of diseases, the public sector has to review your schedule, and the sequencing process has been accelerated. In February 2001, Simultaneously with the announcement of the U.S. company Solera, the HGP announced the first draft containing the sequence of 3 billion base pairs, about 90% almost complete human genetic code. The number of genes, according to the calculations of both teams of researchers, are little more than 30,000, significantly lower than initially thought, 50 to 140,000 genes. The results were published in two different journals, the British magazine Nature published the work of HGP researchers led by Francis Collins, current director of NHGRI, the National Human Genome Research Institute, and U.S. Science, the work of Solera researchers led by scientist Craig Venter. 
Expected to end in 2003, two years earlier than initially thought, Francis Collins called the publication of the almost complete sequence of the human genome in 2001 as the end of the beginning. He explained in a recent article, a critical understanding of gene expression, the connection between sequence variations and phenotypes, protein-protein interactions on a large scale, and comprehensive analysis of human biology will happen now. For me as a doctor, the exact result of the HGP will be able to improve the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of diseases, and most of the benefits that are yet to happen for humanity. With this wide variety of data sequences in hand, we can achieve those purposes that we could never have imagined a few years ago. Francis S. Collins, Genomics, The Coming Revolution in Medicine, from Global Agenda, the magazine of the World Economic Forum Annual Meeting 2003. The Utility of the Human Genome The genetic mapping of the human genome will be possible very soon, and with it the discovery of the causes of many diseases. Many medicines and vaccines could be developed from the information obtained by genetic research. Finding the cause of various diseases, the human being may adopt preventive measures. Through genetic testing and research, it is possible to detect whether a human being is predisposed to suffer from certain diseases, or if an embryo has inherited serious diseases. Soon, when they discovered the functions of all human genes, other benefits will come. Main Areas of Genetics Molecular Genetics emphasizes the study of the structure and function of genes at the molecular level. Genetic discoveries or the application of genetic concepts in our daily life they are daily in the media, and some of the most striking developments have occurred in the field of medical genetics. Currently, geneticists understand the metabolic basis of hundreds of hereditary disorders and can identify known defective genes that result in various inherited diseases, study aspects of our behavior and our personality that are controlled by our genetic makeup, research the role that genes may have in behaviors such as alcoholism and sexuality, and have known for some time that defective genes are the cause of some mental disorders. Today, tools for molecular genetic analysis researchers are aimed to identify genes which, when broken, make individuals more susceptible to these diseases. Molecular genetics is also providing new ways to treat disease. In the past, diabetics received insulin obtained from animals, usually pigs. Today, Insulin is produced in bacteria possessing the gene for human insulin. The human growth hormone has been isolated and is produced by bacteria and is used to treat children who do not produce sufficient amounts of the hormone. Many other proteins of medical importance today are routinely produced in bacteria that have been transformed with the appropriate human gene. Genetic research is also conducted in the field of nutrition and molecular techniques are used to enhance the quality of production of foods, or genetically modified. Findings of genetic research initiated several commercial aspects of the biotechnology industry. Companies that manufacture pharmaceuticals and diagnosis tests, or that provide services such as DNA profiles, have contributed to the world economic growth. Some forms of cancer are familial or hereditary and others occur sporadically among all members of a population. However, all cancers are genetic diseases in the sense that they are caused by changes in the genetic information that is transmitted to the daughter cells. The available evidence indicates that all cancers result from the accumulation of damage to the genes that control or influence cell proliferation, cell differentiation, and related processes. Although there are hundreds of different types of cancer, all have one thing in common, the loss of normal control of cell manipulation. The mutant genes cause an increased risk of cancer, and they are being identified and studied intensively. As we learn more about the function of these genes in normal and abnormal situations, we come closer to effective therapeutic treatments. Forensic science has used genetic techniques in molecular legal matters. The DNA isolated from a small sample of tissue, sometimes only one sperm or leukocyte hair follicle recovered from the scene of a crime, 
may be subjected to a detailed molecular analysis, and the results can be used to identify or disqualify the suspect. Gene therapy, introduction of genes into normal cells of patients with defective genes, offers great promise for the effective treatment of inherited diseases. Gene therapy has been used in conjunction with other therapies, although the introduced genes were expressed for only a short period. Although there are reasons to expect gene therapy to be ultimately successful in the treatment of genetic disorders, the results today indicate that more research is needed to determine how and why genes work. They are soon destroyed after coming into contact with new host cells. The Human Genome Project aims to map and sequence all the human genetic material, and certain other organisms are genetically important. The knowledge of the structure of the entire genetic information of humans and other organisms will have profound effects on society. This information will have marked effects on the ability of scientists to diagnose and create effective treatments for human disease. Thus, this information should have a positive impact on human health. However, it also creates complex problems, moral, ethical, and legal, to be faced by people. Classical Genetics Genetics uses procedures and techniques prior to the arrival of molecular biology. Genetics is dedicated to studying the genes, which in turn comes from heredity, genetics, and the variety of genetic traits. The name genetics is from the Greek geno, and it means to be born. That being the focus of study in this area, their research is focused on the DNA, RNA, chromosomes, and is a field linked with molecular biology. Just as there is molecular biology, molecular genetics exists. Their study is focused on the molecular level. It is a prominent area within molecular genetics, though molecular information can set seed standards and evaluate the correct classification of living things. This classification is a molecular system. Some researchers in this field point to life as the set of strategies used by RNAs for multiplication and conservation of themselves. The genetic history is closely linked to Mendel. Gregor Mendel pioneered in studying heredity characteristics. His early studies were with peas. Experience sought evidence that the flow of characteristics from one generation to another followed a logic, calculation, a ratio. Mendel's work provided great help in genetic construction, especially after his death, and the practice of statistical genetics has to be used. Further back in history, we can consider 1859, the year that Charles Darwin published The Origin of Species. Seven years later, Gregor Mendel also published something critical to genetics, his study Experiments in Plant Hybridization. In 1913, Alfred Sturtevant set up the first genetic map of a chromosome. Robert W. Holley, Har Gobund, and Marshall W. Nuremberg deciphered the genetic code and noted its importance for the production of proteins and won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine of the same year. In 2003, 99% of the human genome was mapped and published to an accuracy of 99%. And in 1989, the first human gene was mapped by Francis Collins and Lap Chi Tsui. Genetics is usually remembered by so-called recessive genes and dominant genes. These terms recessive and dominant are the explanation of some characteristics which are more likely to present themselves than others. An example is eye color. Light eyes are typical of recessive genes, as dark colored eyes are dominant gene characteristics. In a hypothetical situation, consider a blue-eyed woman with a husband of black eyes. The son of this couple will have a great chance of being born with dark eyes instead of blue eyes, like his mother's. That's because black eyes are dominant genes, while the mother's eyes are recessive genes. There is a small possibility of the baby being born with light eyes, but it is much less than the other possibility. Within the field of genetics, there are specific areas. Classical genetics, the period before the coming of molecular biology, is a phrase that did not have as much knowledge. Much of classical genetics ideas were cast aside with later discoveries. The main contribution 
was the discovery of the Mendelian inheritance. Molecular genetics has, as stated above, a more focused activity to the molecular level of genetics. Population genetics is a branch of genetics that studies the human adaptation to the conditions around us, the changes that have been according to our adaptation to the conditions we live in. Another area within the gene is quantitative studies, which looks at the functions of the qualities gained by genes, using these data to form statistics. Population genes. Studying the changes that occur in the alleles with the influences of evolutionary forces shows the process which is now regarded as popular genetics. The populations are an evolutionary drive, whereas there is evolution when the frequency of genes in this population change significantly. However, from an ecological point of view, a population amounts to only a group of individuals occupying a given geographic area at a given time. This type of definition easily deduces what cannot serve as an evolutionary drive because it does not imply that the beings reproduce, the fundamental condition for genetic change. For this reason, the evolutionary unit is conventionally called Mendelian population, that is, a community of crisscrossing individuals who share a certain genetic background. It is formed, therefore, for individuals related to mating, descent, or ancestry. The genes that constitute the genetic background, the set of all genes present in a population at a given time, are transmitted from generation to generation, random and new combination of alleles. It easily follows that it is the genetic background of the parents that derives at random, the genetic background of the descendants. The greater the number of genes that comprise the genetic background of the population, the greater the likelihood there is variation in the next generation. The determination of the gene frequency of a population in successive generations shows whether or not the genetic background maintenance of developments are acting factors. The Hardy-Weinberg law refers to Mendelian populations in balance, i.e. infinitely large populations, in which the crossings occur randomly, panmixia, and there are factors of evolution. Accordingly, the Hardy-Weinberg law says that the frequency of each allele tends to remain constant in each generation. However, this is not the case in reality. Populations evolve over generations, which leads us to the obvious conclusion. The Hardy-Weinberg law does not apply to real situations because there are always growing factors acting on the population. Genes do not always divide in meiosis accurately, mutation. The genotypes are not transmitted to uniform rates, selection, Populations are not infinitely large, and the crossings are not random, genetic drift, and populations are not isolated, migration. All these factors tend to change the balance of populations by altering the gene frequencies, then are called factors of evolution. Evolution Factors Of the enormous variety of factors that can change the genetic composition of populations, only five of them are considered capable of causing significant deviations, including the following. Mutation. There are three main types of mutation. Gene mutations are changes of some base pairs in the DNA molecule. Structural changes are the number of changes or gene arrangements on the chromosome, deletions, duplications, inversions, or translocations. Numerical mutations change the number of chromosomes, either monosomy, 2n-1, polysomies, 2n-1, or nullosomies, 2n-2. The monosomy and nullosomies are deadly, while polysomies cause severe physical and mental disabilities. Examples of this are the cases of trisomy 13, 18, or 21, the syndromes of Turner, XO, Kleinfelter, XXY, and a supermasculinity, XYY. The effect of these mutations in the gene frequencies depends upon the adaptability that patients were presenting them both for survival and for playback in the middle of the species environment. If the mutation is neutral, it may persist for many generations. It can be assumed that genetic variability, 
various alleles for a gene, for example, is the consequence of the accumulation of mutations because these are the only known variability source of the genetic background. Other developmental factors only rearrange variability, but create nothing again. Despite all the mutation, it cannot change the direction of evolution, because it occurs at rates of 3 times 10 minus 6, order in spontaneous mutations, and only creates variability. Developmental results of the action on the population, and thus on individuals with mutations, are the most powerful evolution factors, such as natural selection. The action on harmful mutated genes varies with the dominant and recessive. Recessive genes, harmful or otherwise, are only active in the homozygous state, while ruling also act in the heterozygous state. Thus, similar to mutation rates, detrimental recessive genes are kept in a larger amount in the genetic background of the population that is dominant since the heterozygous carriers of these genes do not express any inferiority to homozygous normalcy. It is considered that genetic variability has superiority in heterozygous or hybrid effects, the most important factor for remaining in populations. In this situation, heterozygotes are better adapted to their environment than homozygotes, thus conserving the population of harmful alleles in the homozygous state sickle cell anemia, for example. Homozygosity causes an 80% mortality before the adult stage. The anemic heterozygotes are a population response to selective pressure by malaria parasites. In these instances, the harmful allele is recessive, but not co-dominant. Migration. Populations are isolated between them, but migration may occur. Moving objects of reproductive age from one population to another, resulting in gene flow. These movements can be input, immigration, or output, emigration. If migrants survive and reproduce, they contribute their genes to the genetic background of the host population. Sometimes the migration rate is very low, working as a mutation affecting the gene bit rate, but it can provide sufficiently high variability and function as a primary factor in the development, the pair of natural selection. Obviously, migration affects only the genetic background of a population from an evolutionary point of view. If the migrant population is different from the receiving population and or to introduce an allele especially coveted. Crossings not random. In natural populations, crossings can be random, panmixia, a situation in which the frequency of alleles in a population remains unchanged. However, this usually is not so, for maintaining the genetic background would create the absence of evolution. In an average population, only some individuals reproduce, usually more showy males, for example. The organizations selected its partners, focusing their similar and close, increasing homozygosity and giving rise to genetic defects. This fact means that, in the human population, marriages between members of the same family are considered incestuous and generally legally prohibited. An extreme case of this is self-pollination in plants. Genetic Drift Genetic drift is the change of the genetic background at random from generation to generation. Usually this occurs in people whose actual player is less than 100 individuals. The population may be large, but only a small number play. You get the same phenomenon. This problem may result from the separation of larger populations due to geographical or climactic barriers. During certain times of the year, the population may be attributable to numerous good conditions, being more or less decimated in a changing station, or other influences. Thus it is easy to predict that each of these small populations does not contain a total sample of the genetic background of the original population. These deviations may lead to the disappearance of certain alleles and attachment of others, quite by accident, regardless of their fitness. This reduction in variability by eliminating alleles in small populations reduces adaptability to environmental changes, which can lead to the decline of the species by the attachment of less favorable alleles. This problem currently exists with bison, cheetahs, elephant seals, and other endangered organisms 
where only a small number, usually in zoos, reproduce. An extreme case of genetic drift is the founder effect in which a very small number of individuals, or even just a pregnant female, moves to another habitat carrying only part of the genetic heritage of the original population. It is common in the colonization of islands from the mainland. Studies in human populations revealed the resulting founder effect of the migration of a small religious group from Germany to the United States, which remained isolated from the rest of the population. Natural Selection Natural selection can be defined as a difference in viability and fertility of the individual. Many of the changes outlined above are unfavorable or even lethal, but their accumulation is counterbalanced by the selection of the mutant with unfavorable characteristics, which will be eliminated. Darwin's theory considers that only part of the seed survives and reproduces, differential viability, and different couples produce different numbers of viable offspring, differential fertility. Thus, most survivors are holders of features with greater adaptive capacity, and the following generations will tend to increase. In a population, recalling the usual distribution of traits, being the highest point of the curve, mean value for the feature, called point adjustment or calibration, ideal value for this medium at that time, there are three types of natural selection. Stabilizer, maintaining the homogeneity of the population because the extreme phenotypes are eliminated. It indicates being well adapted to medium population, and this means that it remains more or less stable. Studies have revealed the action of this type of selection in humans, showing medium-sized babies have a greater probability of survival to those who are very large or very small. Another known situation is the effect of storms on birds, which eliminates individuals with very large or minuscule wings. Directional. The most common situation in which there is a tendency to move the set point, favoring the extreme phenotypes. It indicates environmental changes, being selected as the best organisms to adapt to this new medium. Known examples of this are the resistance to antibiotics by microorganisms or insecticides, as well as the ever-present case of the peppered moth butterfly. Disruptive. The action of selection occurs, eliminating the intermediate phenotype, the most common favoring extreme characteristics outside the set point, may give rise to a balanced polymorphism, two or more phenotypes in the population, or, in extreme cases, two different species. Examples of this type of action on the populations can be observed in plants growing near mines, where the well-demarcated contamination of certain areas leads to the development of two types of plants. One type can live in contaminated areas, but they are small, while larger ones cannot survive in the same environment. Further, a case in poultry derives from the fact that in some locations the only possible power supply are seed or insect larvae. It leads to the birds being selected with larger and stronger nozzles for starting seeds, and birds with nozzles beautiful and delicate, suitable to search for larvae, in holes in tree trunks. A bird with a beak, though, would have difficulty obtaining food. As mentioned above, the directional and disruptive selections are considered evolutionary. By this analysis of trend factors, it can be concluded that natural selection and migration are important factors in controlling microevolution, simple changes in gene frequency in the local population. The selection by itself is the conductive agent of progressive larger changes, appearance of new taxa, macroevolution. Such changes are the results of hundreds or thousands of microevolution, joined and extended by the selective pressure of the environment. Ecological genetics analyzes and studies genetics taking into account the interactions of organisms and between them and the environment. Genomics studies the genetic patterns of certain species. Genomics is the science that studies the genome of organisms from its complete sequence to understand its structure, organization, and function. The sequencing of the genome of animal species, including the human genome and vegetables, have provided evidence for syntony, studies of gene functions. This science is divided into structural, functional, 
and comparative. Structural genomics studies the organization and structure of genes, analyzing transcribed and structural sequences using methodologies such as DNA sequencing and markers. The study of gene functions is up to functional genomics, which attempts to understand the changes in the functioning of the genome at different stages of development and under different environmental conditions. The studies of gene function rely on the construction of cDNA libraries and techniques such as differential display reverse transcriptase and PCR serial analyses of gene expression microarray. Linking and complementing these two studies comes comparative genomics, which seeks to understand the relationships between genomes, the homology between sequences and genes, determining the degree of syntony of related species. These molecular tools provide a breakthrough in the search for genetically superior individuals, allowing regions or genes that control to be identified. Assisted improvement can follow the phenotypic variation of the characteristics and location of QTLs, candidate genes, and greater effect of genes. Identifying the gene, you can select for or against the pre-existing genotype, or obtain new genotypes through the silencing or overexpression of genes of interest. Thus, genomics comes as a very important tool for genetic improvement programs.